What's up, everybody? This is Skylar Young from Site Savvy, and I'm here with Leah. Yeah. Yep. And Ben. We're going to talk about the five steps to our website design process. This is something that Leah has been working out painstakingly. It's something everybody wants to know about, and uh, I kind of want to hear from you. What's the the template of the layout for this? What are the points we're going to run through today? Yeah, can you give us the the quick? What are the five steps? Yeah. 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 Um... So we're going to go over, um, you know, from the, the point that you start an initial call with us, there is number one is the proposal and that follow up email. Uh, number two is we're going to give you homework. So yeah. we need content from you. Get ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, number three. Wow, that was a big section. Number yeah. three is give us access to the things that you own. Four is the beginning of the website creation. And then five is those uh, follow-up meetings with you and going live. So. Repeat, reiterate, and refine. Yeah. yeah. Um, and two is the big one. Two is, is where we need content from you guys. We have some caveats on that. But the first thing is, is just sending out the proposal and the agreement. And I'm really excited about this because I redid our stuff. So we do human-readable contracts now. It's really easy to see the agreement is right in line with the proposal. And if you like what you see, you can just sign it and go. It's very, yeah. very like easy to understand. Um, and, and I really wanted to touch on this topic because there's so many different web developers out there that they all expect something different from you. And if you've worked with previous developers and you come into working with us thinking that we work a certain way, you know, everyone's just different. So I think it's really good to lay out what we should be expecting from you and what you should be expecting from us. Um, and we want to be very, very clear about that. So after that initial agreement is, is signed, um, really it does come down to the big part of the project, which is hammering out the content. Yeah, yeah. Um, and is... sometimes I think, Leah, doesn't that start with kind of where you've been at previously? Like if you have a lot of stuff that you're building off of, that website content process is probably not huge. If you're starting from the scratch, there's really not much you're giving us. And so it's a lot of us either helping you develop it, yeah. you developing it on your own, and that back and forth process that is a website. Like, I don't build it, but I like to think of it like building terms of you can, we can make a scaffolding, but if we don't know what to put on that scaffolding, it's not going to look like your business. It's not going to look like your website. It's just going to be a page that says home and contact and right. random things. Generic. <laughs> you hate generic. If you want a cookie cutter site, there's a lot of people willing to make you that for very cheap. That's not what we're about. Um, so yeah, it, this really does depend on where you're at. And the purpose of what we're kind of going to go over is we're assuming that you are starting completely from scratch with your website, but there are, there are other instances where you might be, right? You might already have a website, but you want it redesigned and you're really looking to level up or you still have a website and you like the design, but the functionality of it is kind of broken and just some things aren't working. Um, or in general, you just need someone to make changes and updates to your site that you already like. So you could be in different situations, but today we're just gonna go over pretending that you are starting from scratch. I actually think that like for half of our clients, they had a pre-existing website and we took it mm -hmm. over either for a brand, like a design refresh, yeah. or even just to take over service, maybe fix some broken functionality that never got finished. Um, but yeah, well, like, and even that's from, a lot of them. Even from that point, we've had clients, like even though they did have a website, they're like, I don't even want anything to do with it. Completely start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that has, that has <laughs> happened a couple times. So that was sad. Um, Content. Uh, let's kind of break that down um, and explain what that is. It, it really is just branding material, um, and branding material is photos, logos, graphics, videos, documents, yeah. and the most important is written content: copy, verbiage, text, words. The message. Where we go yes. to for a lot of clients that have like a brick and mortar business, that this is their first like online business or online version of their business is they have brochures, they have some of that content already created, but they don't think about it as content. You like yeah. created a sales ticket, you say yeah. you created those things, but you don't think about it of what you're putting on your website. And now we don't necessarily copy those words for words and put it on your website. But for us, a lot of times it's just as much as you can give us about your business. Yeah. We can pull stuff and make content from that. 
if you've written about your business on your social media, you can pull a lot of that okay. stuff and TV make it. Yeah, it's radio ads, billboards, whatever kind of collateral has been created to explain your business to the world. Yeah, to get it out there. Yeah. Um, so if, if you're just working with a website redesign with us, these things are not included. Um, but we do have additional services that we can always chat with you about connecting you uh, with certain people that can help with that. So Ooh. if you're local, if you are in Yakima, uh, we actually do recommend checking out Caffrey Photo for your photography yep, and yep, yep. videography. Um, Where it's at. We almost recommend him to all of our clients. Pretty much everyone. Every client that has taken us up on that, they, they come out with great photos that they, they can use for social media, for their website, for um, brochures, you know, you, you use photos for everything. And photos are really a make it or break it for your online presence. So, and while you can use stock images, uh, they don't go very far. And people can smell those It's out of super mile away. cool when you can yeah. have some stock looking images that are you and your employees or you and your customers. And Keith's done those for us. Uh, Caffrey Photo's done that for us. And I know that I always like looking at those and being like, oh, I remember when I was having that conversation yep. with the client. And mm -hmm. actually, like a lot of those people become enheartened by your community because you see the community being built off that. Good way to think about it is that the, the actual messaging of what you're trying to get to your audience is best distilled in words. So the copywriting aspect um, is the most valuable if it comes first and kind of sets the strategy if you lead with that. But then in terms of getting people to engage with it, by far the most engaging content is visual. Yeah. So photo and video. And you want photo and video that complements that um, copywriting messaging that you create. So, yeah. Agreed. Um, and so if you're on a budget, you definitely might want to kind of come up with this stuff yourself. But if you really are needing that branding expert, that's kind of like the next level up, right? Um, and starting January, we yeah. may or may not have someone that could help with that. So let's define this very <laughs> carefully because this needs to be understood. Like we're talking in this video just about um, website and just the initial part of a website, like just the design process, getting it out the door. And we're really focused on just the website and the technical needs and the needs for getting the pages created. But if you need help with that much bigger picture of the actual branding and marketing, that is something we also do. So if you need help with that, um, this does not have to all be on your plate. We have access to the best branding experts, um, I think for a really long ways around, way beyond Yakima, and also the, the production um, creatives. Mm -hmm. So talk to us if you want help with the full, the full marketing. Um, and we can do that. But, but back this, to the website. This video, we're just talking about the website. Yes, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. And and something I, I want, I've actually had a client tell me that I need to make sure potential clients understand this very well. Um, a lot of people will come in and think that we will create a template for them mm. and a layout and then we give it to them and then they will put their own content in there, right? Like yeah. you'll have an about section or, or this. It, it's just like all blocked out. This um, isn't Squarespace. This that's isn't not Wix. How we work. That's right. really putting the cart before the horse. Right. Yeah. So we, we work in a way where we first need your content and then we create a design around that because we're trying to achieve what your overall goal is, not whatever that cookie cutter site's goal is. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, and just kind of an example, right? If you have like a life coach versus uh, some pest control guy's website, right? They're going to have two very different goals. One is very focused on showcasing their experience and credentials and learning about them as a person. But the other one is kind of going to be more straight to the point, show you a list of services and a lot of like call now buttons. So they, they, they simply just don't work the same and you would not use yeah. the same template for both. Even just from like a visual going back to like the old days of PowerPoints, you could tell the people that would make a PowerPoint from scratch and actually yeah. put in time of making right. it look good to then the people that like started with the template. Like exactly. you, they would be so confined to that template that they never really showed anything other than the template. They That's may put example. words in there, but they, if you start from scratch and put intuitive thought behind what your message is, you can show so much more on the page, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And I also want to specify too that your website's not going to be perfect as soon as it goes out the door, um, <laughs> because your brand itself what? is going to change so much. Oh so, come on, first time perfection. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants so that. So what we're all about? No. 
So, I mean, we started in 2015, and we're, I think, on our fourth or fifth new logo. And that's yep. expected. That's yeah. normal. So yeah. don't stress about having the perfect logo or the perfect photos or the perfect everything. You're going to change over time. So just get something out the door. Things will get better later. And that's for another video. But <laughs> You're putting something on paper to start from. And then you can start fixing it. And you can redraw it. Yeah. You can reframe it and reshape it and build it out from there. But you got to you got to put something down. I yeah. talked I talked with a branding specialist when we very first started. In fact, I think this was even before Site Savvy, and he was doing work for Coca-Cola. So the guy was pretty good at his job. And he said, um, definitely get out the door quickly and don't worry about it too much because you actually want the opportunity to rebrand in a couple of years. Like you to will, collect feedback. You to, will definitely change, yeah. you will definitely grow and evolve, and you want to actually go through that rebranding process and incorporate everything that you've learned in your first couple of years. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yeah. Um, OK, so moving on. Now that you've given us your homework, um, we now <laughs> need access to your domain registrar. Yeah. And this part's painful host? sometimes. <laughs> oh. And because a lot of times people don't know what a host is versus your domain, and right. especially if you have an existing one or you had someone help you in the past, sometimes getting stuff passed over is... Or your name servers are somewhere else and your, your registrar is over here and then you have 10 different old registrars because you kept transferring. It's like herding a bunch of cats. And if sometimes. you don't even know what we're talking about, it's kind of the point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about, but I've seen the pain. Yeah, <laughs> but this is critical. We have to make sure your domain name um, is pointed to the website before it can go live. So we try to get that figured out early. And, and as often as not, we help you make sure that you have direct ownership of that domain. Which yeah. you should. You may not. A lot of people are surprised to discover they don't. And you want to own that almost more than anything else in your business. That is so valuable. Mm -hmm. so. I think one of the like secret values that Site Savvy really does is sometimes you enter the process maybe not knowing about this. But if you are ever to leave us for whatever reason, we'll make sure that process is easy for you on the way out. And that's yeah, like, usually, yeah. it's really important to know yeah. that like you can have someone that's going to help you know your information and not yeah. just necessarily be like, oh, that's. You should have known it. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. But we actually exactly. make it easy for you to leave us in the future. If you I mean, to. it's not about making it easy, but we are very pro best business practice and yeah. very anti lock in. Like that's just not good for anybody. So you, at the end of the day, should be owning everything. Not we us, believe in that wholeheartedly. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. So number four is where your website creation actually begins. <laughs> Uh, I think it's funny, the first three steps, we're not even in the website yet. But. Hey, lay the right foundation, everything else exactly. comes easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So once we do receive the content, uh, we then send your hosting invoice, and then we begin building your website. Mm -hmm. um, so we first kind of create like a layout for your site. We figure out what your page tree is, your menu, um, and then yeah. we also need to figure out who your target audience is. Because if we don't know who you're targeting, or, or, so your target audience and your goals. Those are kind yeah. of the two important yeah. What's ones. What's that call to action that you're trying to get out of your website? Right. Do you want people to call you? Or do you want people to fill out a form? Or do you want people to buy something? Like and what's hopefully that became really clear, you know, while you were going through phase two, exactly. the content and stuff. And we just kind of need to impart that to our team so we can help. Again, this is where we step in and say, all right, so we've got the messaging, the goals. Now we're going to structure the website design to really accentuate that message. And sometimes and that effective. page tree might then be split to kind of two different audiences. It may oh, yeah. have a focus that's like where people are coming into your website, but then you have that secondary audience that you want to make sure you have that information there for, yep. whether that's hiring people for your business or yeah. whatever it is. You want to have that. and But we need to know how that lays out so we can... And what the priorities are. I mean, depict it correctly. It's yeah. best to avoid mixed audiences if possible, but we have a number of websites with three audiences packed mm -hmm. in there, and yeah. it's a completely legitimate way to do it. So um, figuring out how to, again, guide users to the correct place, depending on which audience they are. Again, it's all part of this strategy and this right. design process. Um, so, yeah, we kind of figure out the format and the layout of the site, and then, um, well, I guess this kind of goes into the first draft call, because when we do our, our follow-up meetings with you, um, a lot of it is kind of that back and forth to figure out, are we on the right page? Do you like where we're going? Oh, we need to make some yeah. changes. So then we go back and write, and we're still building your site. Um, 
So yeah, kind of. One thing I want to say about that really quick to kind of yes. kick us off, because I think the vibe that we get is we've had a couple times where a client thought the first draft was the final draft. Yes. And that makes our job really hard because we're trying just to show you something, to get feedback, to get- To see uh, the potential. To get, and maybe we're completely off and we need to redial it, but we need to know that. And a lot of times that comes from then your feedback. And if you go into the meeting as that client thinking, oh, I'm gonna see the perfect website, you're gonna be really caught off guard and you're gonna be like, oh, that's not what I'm wanting. And you, maybe these people aren't good at their jobs. That's not how you should be thinking about it. You should be, oh, I need to give them this feedback. I need to, sometimes you don't know what you like until you see something and you can yeah. fix that. And that dial actually that in. cuts partly to the whole reason we're a service company in the first place. I mean, in my early days, I would go for one and done perfect first time websites. And I mean, you know, it worked out sometimes. But half the time, even when the client liked that first go live state, um, six months down the road, things have changed. There's new feedback. The world's been actually using it. And they realize there's a bunch of things that need to be different. And, yeah. you know, now it was a whole new budget to scope to get that done. And after a while, I was just like, I'd much rather get paid a retainership, um, partly so I can focus on service instead of sales. And secondly, so that when the client comes back, as often as they come back with feedback on what needs to update and change, we just do it. We're there to keep this thing alive and evolving to be a better version of itself, you know, in real time, just like the rest of your business, right? So. And that goes into that. We use that mindset in our very first draft and follow-up meetings before we've ever launched the website. So yeah. be excited about getting to give us feedback in this stage, yeah. is what I'd yeah. say. We love it. We're, we're used to it. We are currently managing 80 plus websites, so. It's a lot of feedback in a day. <laughs> <laughs> Say whatever. Um, yeah, so a lot of the purpose of this is just to like kind of tweak stuff. And usually I have a ton of questions in the first draft as well. Um, so then the second draft, maybe there's a third or fourth draft. It really depends on, you know, kind of what taste you have or the type of industry you're in. The or complexity just the of the website. Yeah. yeah. Um, so depending on all that is going to depend on how many drafts there are. But normally we can get a website up within like a month if we are giving timelines that people yep. can expect. Um, yeah, so so a lot of, I just want to touch back on just the creation of the website. Um, normally around the second draft or so, that's when we really do start tying in the design and really solidifying that and then working on the mobile optimization. Yeah. Um, I don't know what what are kind of what are a few check boxes that you kind of look at when you're building Skype? Mobile optimization is huge. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the biggest ones. I mean, most of our clients are getting more than half the traffic from mobile now. Um, making sure your site has SSL set up, the SSL certificate. So all security measures are taken care of. Yeah, we have backups. Um, images are getting optimized. So we check out. Uh, I mean, the nitty gritty back in details that just really make me happy. We make sure that we're not skipping any details that make your website faster. That's huge. Yeah. Um, our websites are blazing fast. Like think about it just from real world terms. It's like when you go to a website and you're sitting there for the page to load, how many times do you then like get distracted and Bounce. go somewhere else? Exactly. Like yeah. you, you still wanted that website to load and you still need it to, mm -hmm. but something distracted you. That's where like you could lose a customer right there. And we really focus on making it as fast as possible with image sizes and layouts and not yep. over redundancy of like fancy design. I mean, I think there was this period of time where all these websites had this scroll feature that was super dynamic. Or the slideshow. Oh yeah, and it just doesn't work yeah. after a while because it takes good. so long to load all of that content. Yeah, yeah it's, And your consumers don't care most of the time, especially on a mobile device. Yeah. So. Ooh, I do, that, that's a good point to bring up because um, a lot of people want those the flashy, like they want every part of their website to be moving. Yeah. And we look at it from, okay, what's the best user experience for your customers, right? So yes, you have an idea of how you want your website, but you really need to look at what is the best experience for your customers, not necessarily what you think looks best. There's a formula for this. That, I mean, <laughs> uh, you, you do not want flashy moving things at the cost of performance because yeah. that actually costs costs clients um it is possible to get really super cool flashy websites even like 3d websites if you can imagine and still have them be performant 
but you know that's a five to six figure website right there right. and we've scoped a few we have the guns for it but that's not your average business yeah for everybody else it's better to keep it simple keep it fast keep it focused so while we are here to design the website that you want we also are going to have a lot of recommendations in what we think will be best for you users and at the end of the day we'll do what you want but we will give you advice based yeah, we, on experience. We could build a Ferrari, but we're also fine building like the really solid truck that's going to move your, your clients from yeah. a client to a customer type mm -hmm. thing. And that's sometimes all you need. And you need that to perform just as well as you need your big flashy thing. Sometimes what I've seen is like marketing agencies will sometimes have the coolest website. But sometimes I'm like, how much time are they spending on their cool website and not clients? Now, we don't have this big flashy website. But we can build it, but a lot of times it's not needed. And that's, I think, yeah. the truth is there's, yeah. you can do a lot more with less and really clean and always going to work and reliable. So, go look at yeah. apple.com. How simple. You know? Yeah. Like, go look at, was it one of our clients loves like Porsche.com? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Porsche website. Clean, simple. Clean, yeah. Anyway. Like one photo for the whole page and it kind of just is there. <laughs> okay. And the most fun part, an important part, is actually going live with your website. Um, so yeah, because we have access and you've given us access to your domain registrar, we're usually able to do this rather quickly. Mm -hmm. um, it really does depend on the type of registrar you have. Sometimes it takes a few minutes or hours or yeah. up to 48 hours. <laughs> so we recommend hover.com because yeah. every time I've used them, your site goes up in minutes. When I've used some other registrars, uh, they it t it, oh, it can take days. It days, hey. yeah, yeah. At least and sometimes hours. they don't give you any time track of when that might actually no. happen. <laughs> yeah. They just say in days it might happen. <laughs> cool. Hover hover's good. I will <laughs> say like in the old days, GoDaddy was really bad. These days, GoDaddy is actually pretty good. So if you're using them, you know, don't worry. You're in good yeah. good hands. We can't say any names of who's doing terrible. Otherwise, they go after us. But mm. there's some really terrible ones out there. I was tempted. <laughs> yeah. All right. You can ask us offline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, and then after your site's live, there's just a few more changes that we need to make to your site that we are unable to do until your site is live because we have to work with your live domain. Because when we're mm -hmm. working on the temporary domain, it's basically sitesavvy.kinsto.cloud, right? Sitesavvy would be like your website name. And then once we go live, it's actually sitesavvy.com as an example. So yep. once we're able to do that, that's when we do the SSL. Uh, and we, we, if you don't have Google Analytics or your Google Search Console or any of that set up, we do set that up for you. Mm -hmm. And we get that um, up on your site as soon as possible. We get the recaptcha set up for your forms. We get some um, SEO plugins going. Um, and then of course, any redirect links that you have from maybe your old site if you do have yeah. one. Yep. One of the biggest things is just making sure once your website's live to start collecting data because mm -hmm. then that data is how you make decisions to change. And that may not be you looking at that data, but us having it so we can go Marketers, back and give you are all that feedback. Ask for it. so. It's free to set up and we, we put it out on all of our client sites and it's just better to have it than like, you know, need it later and not yeah. have it. So. And if you already have it, we're going to keep the continuity yeah, going. Exactly. Um, yeah, and then my last point was like, if you wanted that next step up, but that more has to do with branding and stuff, and we can talk about that later. But yeah, um, stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. So Exciting stuff in January. That's kind of what our process looks like. And if you guys have any more questions, or if you even want like a proposal or to solidify that contract, you can always reach out to us. And we can yep. Get that going. Cheers. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. Talk soon. Bye.